is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. I hope you're having a super fantastic day. Hope the COVID, right now we're in late July, hasn't uh, uh, caused any issues with your family and friends. That's a positive, huh? Again, uh, we're in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. Hopefully there's not a COVID-20 pandemic continuation, you know, phase two. Okay, so I got that over with. Uh, number, I have two little tips for you. Two simple tips to consider when buying uh, any sort of travel trailer, fifth wheel, class A, B, C, etc., toy hauler, pop-up, whatever. Whatever you're going to buy out there, these are two tips that you can take to heart and try to understand, okay? First of all, first up is uh, how long has that RV been sitting on the lot, okay? Typically, you can look at the little tag, the little yellow tag. Here's an example of the little yellow tag. It's a little tag, and it usually has all kinds of good information, but also has the date of manufacture. So how long has that, you know, RV been sitting on the lot? Has it been sitting on there for six months? One year? Two years? That's a long time for, you know, all the awnings to be constantly out. The awnings have been out, uh, uh, you know, over the, over the slides. Uh, it's been sitting there through rain, possibly snow, uh, hail, all kinds of uh, weather. You know, maybe 100 degree heat for months and months and months. That's not a good thing for your RV. Understand one thing that you, if you bought an RV and, said it was, it's, and it says it's a 20 20 model okay it says they say it's a 2020 model even though it's you know right now we're in july 2020 it could have been manufactured <clears throat> in january of 2019 so that's a year and a half old rv so you got to check that little tag even though it's, they say it's a 2020 model or 2021 model you got to look at the little tag you look at the little tag and say hey that's the date. It was manufactured in uh, June of 2020. It's a month old. That's perfect. It's not been sitting on the lot, getting exposed to extensive, you know, all kinds of heat, weather, and the, you know, the slides haven't been damaged uh, from constant rain. They haven't been, you know, you don't want to beat up old, are you? That's uh, suggestion number one, okay? Check the little yellow tag. Again, that's a picture of the yellow tag. There it is. There's the yellow tag. Take a peek at it. Look at it closely. Look at all of you. Look at it closely. That's the first thing you should do when you're looking at an RV. And of course, the salesman say, it's been, you know, <laughs> we have perfect weather here in Texas. It never drops below uh, 75 and it never goes above 85. Uh, if you believe that, I got some, uh, <laughs> something to sell you. That's not very positive. Number one tip. This is my uh, number one or number two. It's all a matter what you want. Of course, you have you looked at the manufacturer's date of, you know, manufacturing, okay? The manufacturing date. Okay, let's say it's June 2020. That's a good thing. I believe, this is my belief, that RVs manufactured during the summer months are better than RVs manufactured during the winter months. Why, you might say? Well, what kind of weather do they have up there in Indiana, Elkhart, Indiana, and all these places in Iowa and stuff like that where they manufacture all these uh, RVs, the great majority of the RVs? It snows quite a bit during the winter. And what do they do to protect uh, people from getting into accidents? They put a lot of salt on the road. So you put salt everywhere, and they spray it around. You know, it's everywhere. So... Let's say, for example, you got that RV and it was delivered in the month of uh, January and it was snowing and snowing and snowing. So, so if you got that RV delivered to California, uh, you know, South Texas or Florida, or somewhere where it's always w relatively warm, you may be surprised if that it's been sitting on the lot for, again, a year, a year that that salt has had a lot of time to penetrate certain cracks, go into the frame, go into the leaf springs, go into the suspension, go into the brakes, go into the hitch area, and cause maybe a little bit of damage, but then it may be a lot of damage. 
So it's just, you know, the RV dealerships, when they get these uh, units, they, don't, they mainly clean them up the minute you, you buy it. They go, okay, now we can fix everything that's on it. Okay, that person found that that drawer was a little loose. We'll fix that. Oh, that person found that that sink was a little bit uh, wobbly. We'll, we'll try to fix that. And uh, that's that. And we'll just, that's that. They won't wash underneath them. <laughs> Are they going to power wash underneath the second they get that from Elkhart, Indiana? I, I guarantee, almost guarantee 80%, 90%, maybe 100% of those RV dealerships don't spray the suspension, don't spray underneath to get rid of all that salt, slush, that slurry, that contamination, that metal-eating uh, salt that's uh, in these units, uh, that's, you know, underneath these units. So do you want to buy, again, a unit that's been, uh, you know, damaged by salt, uh, slush, I doubt it. And do you want to buy a unit that's been on the lot for one, two years, exposed to all the elements? No, you don't want it. So these are issues that I think that you should consider when buying an RV. So what can you do to make sure that you don't have any of these problems? Just look at the little yellow tag. This is the little yellow tag right here. Here's again the little yellow tag. You look at the little yellow tag and it says, Made in Elkhart, Indiana, May, June, July, August, September, those are good months. Those are typically months where there's no snow, no slush. And it's been on the lot for maybe, you know, six months, three months, two months. That's better than something that's been on the lot for two, three years and all the seals are cracked and the uh, slide outs are, you know, warping a little bit and having some issues and the awning over the uh, slide out awnings are cracking and already having some issues because they just left it out all the time during hailstorms or any any all the weather out there they've been exposing it to that 100 degree heat right now i'm in texas right now i'm in texas it's 100 degrees it's been 100 degrees last week it's going to be 100 degrees next week it's going to be 100 degrees until september arrives every week is 100 degrees if i went to a lot right now you know you got to be you get something that's fresh that's few just a few months six months maybe old okay you don't want something really 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 old that's been on the lot for a long long time unless you're a gambler okay if you're a gambler yeah, I'll, I'll try maybe everything will be good so this has been a susman with menagarsa don't forget to like subscribe and share i would greatly greatly appreciate it thank you very very much and uh, if you have time, leave your kind and super friendly comments and suggestions. What do you think of my commentary? What do you think of my opinions? These are my suggestions. Maybe you have better suggestions. Feel free to leave them below the description. Oh, by the way, I, I told a lot of my uh, subscribers that I wasn't going to buy a travel trailer. But my wife gave me the thumbs up. She gave me the thumbs up to buy a travel trailer. How could she rationalize now that I can buy a travel trailer? I talked to her and I get this brilliant concept. I told her, hey, we're going to be moving to California. We put all our stuff in storage and pay 150, 200 bucks a month for storage. We live in our RV and we look at different communities that we may want to buy a house in and we could take our time a year to buy a house. So we can go to uh, Reading. Ah. That's a nice house. That's a nice house. Go to Chico. That's a very nice house. I like that house. It's right next to the coffee shop. I like going to coffee shops. And, or we can go to Arcata and look at the house. That's, that's a bit beat up. I don't know about that. <laughs> so we can look at houses in these more rural communities of uh, California. And in the meantime, live in a travel trailer. A small travel trailer. I'm uh, looking at something about 25 feet uh, about 5,000 pounds dry. A couple scamper, something like a, one of my favorites right now is a, what's that called? A Flagstaff Microlite 22 FBS. And that's a pretty nice, simple, uh, easy to tow travel trailer. So wish me luck. I might be getting a travel trailer within the next year and a half, two years, okay? I'd like to get it right now because we're going camping this weekend. We're going truck bed camping this weekend. I'd rather have it right now. But better late than never. What can I say? So my wife has come around somewhat. She may change. She may change and say, I don't think so. Maybe not. But right now she's giving me the thumbs up. I'm excited. I'm going to get a travel trailer. 
Maybe、uh, summer of 2021, I'll get a travel trailer. That'd be nice. So, again, from Fort Worth, Texas, and eventually moving to、uh, Northern California in 2022, 23, 24. This has been Asus Manuel Managarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye bye. Thank、you